Hello, uh, I'm going to teach you how to edit type defs in the FRC Serial Robot Project. Rename the project as you wish. Uh, change the location, you're going to save it. X components are the first two digits of your team name. The Y components are the last two, being the tens and ones digits. If you don't have a first, or a thousandth digit, that's fine. You're going to want advanced framework. and it's going to take a little while okay there it is these are the type defs we're going to specifically be looking at robot data team code we're going to be looking at teleop begin and finish dot vi first we're going to start with begin Open that up. Uh, show block diagram, and we're going to want to scroll down to this area. This is basically what we're going to be editing. This pink box right here is the robot data type def, actually. So first, right-click WPI Robotics Library robot drive advanced motor control open click got all your inputs there PWM channel motor control device ref the other ones mostly aren't used then at the bottom there you've got your Jaguar and Victor depending on which or on what your motor is hooked up to create a constant on the PWM channel input there I'm gonna select PWM channel 3 because that's the first one that's open then I'm gonna double click on the open motor and copy the device ref right there I'm going to right click on the robot data in pink box, open type def, and I'm going to paste the type def in there. Uh, notice how it's not going to, or it's broken because you've got two type defs on the top level. So drag the type def into the robot data in and for organization and readability I'm going to arrange vertically. It's right there. Give the motor control device ref a recognizable name. Typically something that's going to be used for and apply changes then save note how when we applied the changes in the background pink box there shifted over that's the new stuff that we just put in um move the comment and drag the unbundle by or bundle by name down and you can hook the motor control device ref up to the test device ref and your motor is now accessible to the rest of the program save and go ahead and close out of that save all now open up finish.vi We're going to show the block diagram. This is where we close all of the references we open in the beginning. I'm going to go to WPI Robotics Library, uh, Robot Drive, Advanced Motors, and we're going to, whoops, we're going to motor close. 
drag that down and wire it up to the test device ref. I'm going to save and close. And we're going to go to Teleop VI to actually do something with the motor. Show the block diagram. And there's a test device ref. We're going to unbundle the buttons from the joystick to get VI. Click and choose button 3. And we're going to wire that into the uh, case loop structure. Make another case structure inside that one. And wire the button up to it. If the button is a little cleaning up. wire that to the case structure. Now we're going to go to WPI Robotics Library, Robot Drive, Advanced, Motor Control, Set Speed. I'm going to wire the device reference up to it and we're going to create a constant of 1 max speed. I'm going to Go. I'm going to copy that. Okay, we're going to copy that. Control C. And paste it with Control V. I'm going to wire the device reference up again. And create another constant of zero. This will. Uh, if the button is pressed, the motor will go full on, and if it is not pressed, it'll stop the motor. There, you just put in your first motor, edited the type def, so you can access that motor from any portion of the program. You may want to save all your work if you ever want to come back to it and close everything. Don't forget to save the actual project by going to File, file Save on the Project window. And that's all.